The largest military transport in the U.S.'s arsenal is also one of the largest planes in the world. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the aptly named C-5 Galaxy, and it's been five decades worth celebrating. With the ability to swallow 50-ton main battle tanks and deposit them on another continent, the Galaxy is an essential part of the global logistics system. As Air Force historian John Leland noted, the C-5 symbolized the size, power, might and majesty of the United States Air Force, and it still does to this day. For a half century, the galaxy has kept America's armed forces, allies, and far-flung scientists well supplied in the most remote corners of the Earth, and it will continue to do the job for the foreseeable future. Here are the six reason why C-5 Galaxy is such a spat-ass aircraft. Number 1. 24,844,746 ping pong balls of big. The most recent version the C5M is 247 feet long. That's 12 feet longer than an Airbus A380 Super Jumbo civilian jetliner. It has a wingspan of 222.8 feet, with each wing as long as a basketball court. The aircraft stands 65 feet tall, the equivalent of a six and a half story building. The galaxy is so galactic it won't fit inside many hangars. In some cases the C-5 mostly fits inside and the Air Force simply cuts a hole in the sliding doors for its whale-shaped tail to stick out. Other times, it just sits outside. The C-5 was built to carry more cargo than any other plane. The C-5M can lift more than a quarter million pounds, and the approximately 34,000 cubic foot cargo bay is large enough to contain one tank six helicopters, or 24,844,746 ping-pong balls. The gargantuan airplane can fly 5,524 miles with 120,000 pounds of cargo without refueling. With mid-air refueling, the C-5 is practically in limited range. Number 2. Cold War Tank Mover the C-5 Galaxy started with the requirement, the Air Force wanted a transport capable of carrying all the equipment necessary for a U.S. Army division halfway across the world. While transports of the time, including the C-130 Hercules and now extinct C-141 Starlifter, were big, they simply couldn't handle the most important item, the new M-60 main battle tank. The M-60 was 30 feet long, 10 feet high, and weighed 50 tons. The Air Force issued a requirement for a new super heavy transport plane, CXLHS, and set a performance goal of carrying 100,000 pounds a distance of 4,500 nautical miles at 440 knots. The plane that could do it would be not only the largest airplane in U.S. military service, but the largest airplane in the world. It was a heady time in American history, when the country could easily fund a race to the moon the Vietnam War, and building the largest airplane ever. Boeing, Douglas, and Lockheed competed for the contract. After a six-month deliberation, Lockheed won the contract to build 58 of the cargo planes, while General Electric won the engine contract. In today's dollars the C-5A would cost $268 million each. The C-5A was an ambitious airplane. Lockheed's specs called for an aircraft capable of carrying an outside load of 250,000 pounds, or 125 tons, a distance of 3,200 miles unrefueled. With a 100,000-pound payload, the C-5A could fly 5,300 miles. That was enough to fly from Dover Air Force Base in Delaware to Torrigen Air Base in Spain, or from Travis Air Force Base in California to Yokota Air Base in Japan. The C-5 was projected to fly more and bigger cargo and do it faster and with fewer planes. In 1965, General Howard Estes, commander of the Air Force's Military Air Transport Service, said the C-5 would have radically sped up Operation Big Lift, an exercise that flew 15,500 soldiers from the U.S. to Germany. Number 3. Hustling Cargo the plane's cargo box is 13.5 feet high, 19 feet wide, and 143.75 feet long. This adds up to 34,734 cubic feet of cargo space, 
or what C-5 maintainers call a warehouse with wings. The cargo plane has outlasted the M-60 main battle tank and can theoretically carry two M-1A2 Abrams tanks, though just one Abrams is 50% heavier than the C-5's maximum cargo weight. Alternately, a C-5 can carry 350 people plus equipment, six UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters, and six M-2 Bradley fighting vehicles. Getting cargo on and off the galaxy is a lot easier than it looks. The C-5's bulbous nose is hinged, allowing it to raise up over the cockpit and providing full access to the cargo box. This is nicknamed the Knight's Visor. A ramp at the rear of the plane allows ground crews to drive vehicles directly onto the aircraft, where they are tied down to prevent load shifting in flight. The airplane's landing gear and 28 landing wheels can hydraulically kneel to truck bed height allowing cargo to be offloaded directly from the plane to waiting trucks. Despite its size, the plane carries a small crew, pilot, co-pilot, two flight engineers, and three loadmasters. The plane's extreme range it can travel 7,000 miles without refueling means it often carries multiple crews and has provisions for up to 15 relief crew members. It can also carry 75 more passengers in airline-style seating separate from the cargo area. Number 4. A humongous history. The first C-5 Galaxy flew on June 30, 1968, and soon began flying the Trans-Pacific run from California to Southeast Asia, supporting the Vietnam War. In 1973 C-5S were the backbone of an emergency airlift of supplies to Israel, which had been the victim of a surprise attack by its Arab neighbors. The airlift, nicknamed Operation Nickel Grass, saw the first C-5 in the air 10 hours after it began, with the first plane delivering 194,000 pounds of supplies. Over a course of 145 sorties, C-5S flew a total of 21,600,000 pounds of supplies, including tanks and helicopters, into the beleaguered country. The C-5 flew cargo throughout the Cold War, particularly to Europe for annual NATO exercises. In 1990 it participated in the air and sea lift operation supporting Operation Desert Shield, the effort to defend Saudi Arabia from Saddam Hussein's Iraq. Months later, C-5S participated in the build-up that enabled Operation Desert Storm, the liberation of Kuwait. Together the two campaigns form the largest airlift in history. In addition to Desert Storm and Desert Shield, C-5S took part in military and peacekeeping operations in the Balkans, Haiti, and Panama. After the attack on 9 per 11, C-5S ferried cargo into countries neighboring Afghanistan, and then the country itself once a suitable airfield had been secured. C-5S often accompany the U.S. President, carrying the vehicles of the presidential motorcade in advance of Air Force One. The C-5 could have carried a space shuttle, the Air Force converted two C-5As to C-5C status, modifying them to carry space containers that safely transported satellites and other payloads. The C-5C could also carry an entire Atlas IIA rocket in sections of the International Space Station. The Galaxy has flown to Antarctica, too. In 1989, a C-5 flew to McMurdo Airfield in support of Operation Deep Freeze the U.S. government's annual resupply run for scientists studying the frozen continent. The C-5 carried 72 people and 84 short tons of cargo, including two UH-1 and Huey helicopters. The ice runway, located on the Ross Ice Shelf, was 10,000 feet long, 350 feet wide, and at least 7 feet thick. Number 5. Launching Missiles by Plane Lockheed Super Heavy Transport was even at one point evaluated as a launch vehicle for intercontinental ballistic missiles. In 1974, Aircraft 014 was loaded with the 43-ton Minuteman I missile. The Minuteman I was normally stored and launched from silo complexes in the Midwest, but the Air Force was investigating alternate basing schemes. At some point, someone asked, what if we could air launch the Minuteman I? Unlike a silo, which is fixed in the ground, an airplane flying over the United States was pretty much invulnerable.
On October 24, 1974 at 20,000 feet over the Pacific Ocean, 014 opened her rear cargo door and a long, slender missile slid out. The aircraft shuddered the crew described it as similar to dumping a wheelbarrow full of water. A parachute slowed the missiles as fall and then the solid rocket fuel motors ignited, sending the nuclear missile soaring high into the clouds. The C-5 galaxies also supported classified programs. The world's first purpose-built stealth aircraft, the Hev Blue demonstration plane, was airlifted out of Lockheed's facility at Burbank, California in the middle of the night and whisked away for flight tests in the Nevada desert. The C-5 could carry the entire plane without having to disassemble it. F-117A Nighthawk stealth fighters, the first operational stealth warplanes, were also secret and flown from Southern California to Groom Lake, Nevada.